when you're ready to start the project, you're going to use a half sheet of paper and you can use just computer paper if you want to. So cut an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper in half so that this is smaller because I want this word and uh, first layer, I'm working on the first layer and then we'll build it later. So first layer is going to be what I start with and it's going to be large bubble letters and they're going to overlap each other a little bit. Oh, maybe that middle should be a little bit bigger. And then P over here. Nice big bubble letters. And a lot of times the letters in pop art, they kind of look like they're three-dimensional, like they're kind of moving. So I'm going to put a little shadow here next to it. So I'm going to draw a line that comes out, connect it together. So I have a shadow on the left side of letter P. Add a little curve inside here, you're going to see a shadow inside that empty space. Oh, I already have one started here on the inside of the O. Over and around the O. Same thing, left side of this letter P and the inside edge right here. Then the shape that goes around it. So remember we had to draw a line, so mine looks like it's exploding, it's pretty pointy. So I don't want to go, I'm going to go right to the edge of the paper there, and that's okay. Bigger explosion, smaller zigzag, going all the way around my word. Pop. Excellent. Now it's time to use marker. You can use any color medium that you want. I chose to use marker for this. So I'm going to start with my blue marker and I'm going to fill in the word and letters of pop with my blue marker. Try to be neat with the marker so that you don't see streaks of marker, go back and forth over what, what the color is that you put down to try and blend it so nice, it's nice and neat. Neatness always counts. So we wanna make sure that this is nice and neat. So one letter at a time. I know you can do this, so I'm gonna stop with this part of the demonstration. And then my shadow, once I'm done filling that letter in, and do one letter at a time working left to right so your hand's not smearing everything. The black marker is going to be used to outline so that word or that letter really stands out. And it's going to help separate the letters that overlap. So right here where the P and the O overlap, that black line is going to help separate the two. So it's not blue marker next to blue marker. And then my shadow is going to be done with the black marker as well. Optioned, you can fill it all in with black, or you could just add little lines here to suggest that it would be shaded or a shadow on that side. So filling those in. And then I had said that I was going to use my Bende dots inside the space around the word pop. So with my orange marker, I'm going to add tiny little bende dots here around the word pop. Again, starting on the left, working my way right so that the whole word is colored in. I have a shadow next to each letter. My bende dots are on this layer. If you don't do bende dots on here, you could color that or you can leave it just white with the black edge, so when you cut it out, it has a nice black edge to it. You don't have to do the dots on this layer. You can, you could have chosen Bende dots on the second layer or even your background layer. But the first layer is where you're going to start your project. 